everybody. Heather from Up Done Picking here. I was on a girls' weekend. Did lots of yelling, screaming, talking. Lost my voice. So bear with me. Paul will do some talking today. But we have our candy palette. It has chocolate, marshmallow things, some new types of candy that we picked. And this is all from Hammond. We spent over $1,000 on what you see here. I know it's a short little palette, but it's very, very, very heavy. So we're going to go ahead and bust in here, see what we have. You'll be able to find everything on hookedonpicking.com right in the snacks category. So let's see what we have. All right, we're going to dive into this palette here. Poor Heather's voice is pretty much trash. They went on the IF conference. Uh, it is a mother-daughter conference. Uh, as soon as we got back from ASD Market Week in Las Vegas. And, uh, yeah, they came back, uh, I think Lexi, our oldest, and Heather, uh, okay. with, with, well, Lexi and Heather came back with almost no voice. So, they like to sing, and I think they like to sing a little too loud sometimes, but that's okay. Yep. So, this, uh, spent a thousand dollars on it from Ham and Chocolate. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, Perfect. This is something new that we're going to try. You guys have been begging for more popcorn. And this is the same style of bag or same ounces that we were having from, uh, let's see, it was Bell's Gourmet Popcorn. I want to try some of the Hammond. The reason for that is I'm able to get Hammond popcorn faster, quicker, and I don't have to spend... Um, as much as a pre-purchase order. Like, I have to spend about $1,500 to buy the gourmet popcorn. I only had to spend, I don't know, uh, I think I bought like $300 worth of popcorn here to get it shipped to me. So, fantastic. That is what? Caramel glazed? Mm -hmm. There should be some specialty kinds, what I'm hoping for. I can't remember exactly how I completely ordered it. Let's see what we got here. Same thing, Heather. Caramel glazed. Okay. So I probably bought 12 of each kind. So they come in six in a box. So. Looks like they put popcorn on top. That's good. That's good. Uh, really shocked that they sent this on a pallet, uh, but the, it is fairly heavy. Let me check this out here. What do we got here? Sugary. What is it? Churro? Mm -hmm. Sugary churro. Cinnamon sweet classic treat. Cinnamon sweet classic treat. That looks good. I think, I'm, I'm trying to remember if we had a cinnamon popcorn before. A lot of you guys can tell us if we did or didn't have it. But these will be new on the store. Uh, probably have a, their own little ham and popcorn section under the snacks and treats section. Let's see if that's just the same. Ooh, it's a different kind. This one is, let's see here, birthday cake. Here we go. We sell a ton of birthday cake and gourmet's popcorn. So this looks really nice. So what I need you to do is, if somebody would help me with this, try some of this and say, is it comparable? Do you like it? I mean, they've been doing this since 1920, so I think they've got the bugs figured out pretty well. But more of that there. Fantastic. Look at how just... Heather's a machine, isn't she? She just constantly keeps on going. So, and then next, uh, tomorrow, uh, you will see some auction finds that my dad found while we were down in Las Vegas. So, fantastic stuff. Dad is having a ball. I think you're going to start seeing my dad a lot more when he retires. What do we got here? Sugar churro. Cinnamon sweet class. So, what do we have now? Three kinds, Heather? Yeah. Three kinds of popcorn. Three kinds. Again. Heather, I think Heather could sing bass right now. I that could. Would, I could. That would be pretty cool. So, woke up this morning. She said hello. It's like there was a man next to me. It was weird. <laughs> I was almost scared. What do we got here? Ooh, there's a fourth kind. What is that? Sriracha cheddar. Sriracha cheddar. Spicy and cheesy goodness. Well, there we go. So what is this, our fourth kind? Yep. I think we had 20 kinds of popcorn uh, from uh, Bell's Gourmet Popcorn. So we're doing just like a sampling right now. Just yes. A sampling. So there are more kinds. We'll see what we can get. Um, so if you really like this kind, we'd like to stick with it. Absolutely. Same. Nice. 
Uh, and then someone asked, what is the ingredients? Someone asked about that, a previous video about the cookies. Let's see if I can get that. Popcorn, soy oil, cheddar cheese, milk, salt, uh, some kind of enzyme, and then a whole bunch of other words. There you go. It does contain milk and soy. This looks good, Heather. That's a huge case. I'm not used to seeing that big of a case. Let's see what's in it. Oh, here we go. They gave us bunches of candies. Okay, we're gonna open, you know what? Do you want, you to want to go to the table maybe? Yeah, let's just take this box to the table. Is it super heavy or are you good? It's good. You good? Here we go. We tried to stock up on our candy. It's been a while. Uh, them sending it on the pallet did slow it down, and that was not not what I was wanting to have happen. But I think we were down to like one candy bar left. Midnight snack. Midnight snack has let's see here: milk chocolate with pretzel, cookie, brittle, marshmallow, and cereal. With Heather not talking as much, I have to keep remembering to talk. I'm not used to this. He's doing great. Thank you. So here's some ingredients if you need it. Boom. Oh, here we go. Salt and almond. This is dark chocolate with sea salt and almonds. That sea salt's good stuff, ain't it? 170 calories. Two, two servings. <laughs> Don't you love how they do this? You look at it and it's like, oh, it's only 170 calories. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's two servings and one candy bar. So what is that? 170 and 170 was at 340. So yeah, this is a meal. That's what that is. It's a meal bar. We could we could start our own meal plan, Heather. Just give them a candy bar. Sure, sounds great. Pigs and taters. It's what you think of when you think of candy bars, don't you? Crazy enough, this thing sells so fast for us. Milk chocolate with bacon-flavored bits and potato chips. This is the same. Same one there. Mm -hmm. Pigs and taters. So we probably doubled up on it. Yep. Another wonderful 340-calorie candy bar. Beautiful. Sit down with a Coke Zero. And that would actually be probably a low-calorie meal. <laughs> I would be. See, here's breakfast right here. Bacon. It's got bacon in it. And then we got s'mores. Milk chocolate with marshmallow and graham. Says it 172? Yeah, I wonder if they're all 170. I'm gonna find out. But really nice. I really like the packaging. It always reminds me, if you guys remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, mm -hmm. the, that gold wrapper. Remember, uh, what was his the name? The golden ticket, Charlie. Charlie, that's right. Charlie would unwrap it and then boom, that, that golden paper. So, I think it looks like good. Good packaging on it. Something to say about good packaging. Hammond's cookie dough. Milk chocolate with cookie dough filling. Uh, I, ooh, only 160 calories. Whoa. This is only 320 calories, Heather. Wow. We could say this is like a low-calorie meal. It's the low-cal bar. Yeah. We should start that, a meal plan, and just give them candy bars. Red velvet cake. I'd be on that plan. My goodness, this sounds good. Milk chocolate with red velvet cake ganache. Whatever that is, no one knows. Right. Some of you think you know what it is, but you don't. This is in here. Okay, more s'more bars. Yep. That's good. We doubled up on the bars. Very good. Trying to keep up with orders is hard. Oh my goodness, cookies went crazy. Cookies we? did. We started with 204 cookies, guys. 204 packages of cookies. And in one day. One day we were down to 52. 52. And then I looked this morning, we have 31 packages of Little Red Kitchen cookies left. It Whoa. just blew out. More breakfast food. More breakfast food. Let's see what we got here. Hammond's Chicken and Waffles. Beautiful, isn't it? There's a candy bar for everything. Chicken and waffles, milk chocolate with maple syrup for our Canadian friends. I think Canadians have maple syrup every morning, don't they? I feel like it's... Isn't uh, that where maple syrup comes from, it's, Canada? It's their supplement. Like they just take it as a vitamin. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I feel like that's what it is. It's a vitamin supplement in Canada, according to Heather. They're Could all, be. They're you never yelling. know. They're all yelling at me going, no, it's not. I think maple syrup's from Canada. It is. It is. 
Somebody's like, it doesn't come from Canada. Uh, ham and soda pop. We have a beverage in a candy bar. Beverage before. candy bar. This is actually better than a beverage. It's cola flavored milk chocolate with fizzy popping candy. Like Pop Rocks? Like Pop Rocks in a candy bar. You take a bite of it, sit back, open your mouth, and it pops in your mouth. That would be fantastic. Ooh, got another one. Mint chocolate chip. I think I bought every candy bar that Hammond sells. Literally everything I can get a hold of of Hammond, I think I was trying to buy. Hammond's mint chocolate chip, dark chocolate with mint cream center. Mm. Ooh, it's even low calorie. 320 calories. That's beautiful. And then we have bourbon pecan pie. You can eat this candy bar and get drunk at the same no. time. No, you can't. No. It doesn't have alcohol in it. Milk chocolate with bourbon pecan caramel filling. Another low calorie one. 320 calories. And that sounds kind of sad that I keep saying it that way. But I got a new box. Heather's got a new box. Uh, expiration date. Someone asked me about that one time. They're, they're actually really good. Best Buy 11-24-2022. We don't sell anything past this date. But as you can see, most manufacturers are switching and they're saying, instead of expiration date, they're saying Best Buy date. Some of you have noticed that more and more. Um, because they're saying you're not going to get sick by eating it, but it's not going to probably taste as good or potentially as good. So we deal that with a lot of the church's food pantry also. Uh, Hammond's Key Lime Pie M White Chocolate, for your white chocolate lovers out there. White chocolate with citrusy? Does that say citrusy? Citrusy. I can't read sometimes. White chocolate with citrusy key lime. This is the same box. Ooh. That's 180. This is a low low. This no. This is a higher higher. Oh, higher higher. This is a 360 calorie. This is this is a slice of key lime pie. Is what that is right there. Look at all this candy. Look at all the flavors. Look at all the popcorn. I'm happy. Ooh, lemon meringue. This is. And get it to focus right. White chocolate with lemon meringue filling. There you go, 340, 340 calorie bar. Beautiful. And they smell wonderful. Yes, they do. All right, let's go on over to the pallet again. Oh, we're getting close to a lot of the candy bars already we normally do. I think that's more popcorn or what would that be? Maybe the marshmallow stuff? Could be. What do we got here? Yep, toasted coconut marshmallows. So they're these little squares. Beautiful. And they're covered in coconut. Yummy goodness. If you're a coconut fan, you're going to love that. Toast is coconut, too. Got a lot more boxes to go through. Absolutely crazy. I'm still shocked they sent this on a pallet. Okay, we're going to go to the table with this. Table one. with that one? Okay. I think one of our popcorn bags fell. What do we got here? This I'm. This is more candy bars. More candy bars figure. So I'm just gonna see if they're duplicates. Okay. Nope, this one's new. New one, love it. I know everybody's been loving the ham and chocolate. It's been a really good seller on our store. I think quite often people just kind of throw in a candy bar or two in an order. And then we have quite a few orders that just, that's all they buy. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Milk chocolate with peanut butter and jelly. I'm a big peanut butter and jelly fan. Ooh, it's low cal. Only 320 calories in this bar. And again, you see the expiration date, 10-19-2022. So we really haven't run into a problem with this. No. We, we had run into a few issues with the uh, expiration date on the Bell's Gourmet Popcorn. Uh, just because we'd have to order so much, you know, but uh, this one sells up pretty quickly. Malted milkshake, milk chocolate with malted milk. That's what I want to order. Open up one day. A, a malted milkshake shop with candy, a few toys, and gold bars. Uh, calorie 160, low cal, beautiful. What do we got there? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with peanut butter cup. Peanut butter cup candy bar. Just screams Reese's, doesn't it? 
but it isn't salmon 180 calories this one um if you eat you'll probably get diabetes but it's good it's stuff the same one whole box of that of the yeah. malted milkshake we're probably gonna run into duplicates here soon i'd imagine not yet not yet Just look at this look at all these different kinds isn't that beautiful and i figure if we offer these and the popcorn now that'll be great have yourself a hammond party Every time I think of Hammond, I think of uh, Jurassic Park. Wasn't that John, John Hammond, Hammond started the... Maybe that's the guy. You never know. Birthday cake right there. There's always a birthday cake something. I think we have the birthday cake can uh, popcorn and the bar. Look at that. That'd be a nice little gift set. We, we have thought quite often about making gift sets, but the problem is it sells so quickly. I think we don't even have to. I think a lot of times people are building their own gift sets. Hammond's been in operation for a hundred years. It's good. They are based out of Colorado, Denver, Colorado. Hammond Seaside Caramel Milk Chocolate with Sea Salt. It's locale. I think what does it say there? Uh, contains milk, soy, may contain wheat, peanuts, and tree nuts. This people want to know that. Box. Same box as this. Mm -hmm. Seaside caramel. This sounds delightful, doesn't it? This is, ooh, this is That's Dad's auction finds over there. Just a ton. I gotta go through that a little bit. Mom and Dad have been doing a great job trying to label stuff for me. So I gotta lay it out better for you guys for tomorrow's video. Over there is our shipping station. You can see all the boxes. Here we go, Seaside Caramel, the dark chocolate with sea salt. So if you're not a milk chocolate fan, you like more of the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate always seems to be a little bit of a lower calorie. Oh, why? 160. This box is a birthday cake. Birthday cake, whole box there. And Heather a Trooper, she has barely a voice and she's still doing this. And she dances. Dance more, dance more. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like it when she dances. Could be that we're married. Let's see here. Uh, coconut cream pie. My goodness, we just keep coming up with new flavors, don't we? I keep thinking we're gonna, <laughs> this is all duplicates, but then it's a new kind. I can't believe it. Coconut cream pie, milk chocolate with creamy ganache, and shredded coconut. We have a second box of that. Second box of this stuff. It's beautiful. Beautiful candy Who wants to order all the flavors? That would be fun. Ooh, leave a comment what your favorite one is in the, in the comment section below. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Leave a comment what's your favorite candy bar below. Banana Crunch. Ooh, you can smell that. Oh, yeah, you can. Milk Chocolate with Banana Crunch. I don't know what the calorie content on that is. 170. Kind of your mid-range. <laughs> Look at this. More boxes. There we go, vanilla bean marshmallow. This is good. Four ounce bag. Let's see, everybody wants no calorie content for some reason now. 80 calories for the whole bag? No. About four servings per container, five pieces. Actually, that ain't too bad, right? I would think that's not too bad for you. You get five pieces for 80 calories. If you eat the whole bag, what would it be? 80 times 4, what is that, 160 times 2, so I, I don't do math. All right, then we have honey peanut. Oh, that's good. Is there actually peanuts in here? Uh, I think there might be some peanuts in there. Yeah, this would be great. Beautiful. Another kind. Honey, sweet, and salty. Naturally flavored. Nice. Another Thank another you. box of that. Great. So what is that? Is that our fifth? That's our fifth kind of popcorn. That's great. We're getting there. Be a good different. And there's some different kinds than we haven't we haven't done before of popcorn. birthday cake hey look a whole set you can have this you can do the popcorn 
You can do where's that candy bar? You can do the candy bar. Boom. Birthday cake cake goodness. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Look at that. That's a set right there. Be beautiful. I'm just gonna keep it like that. To entice you. Is that enticing? Comment below if that looks good to you. I think it looks good. Okay. Ooh, that's different. What was that in the box? Uh, something new? It's a different kind of licorice. Australian style. Australian style? Strawberry licorice. I don't even remember wearing this. Because it took so long to get to yeah, us. It did. Why. It took a while. We've had so much going on in our lives. Heather's been gone, and we went to Las Vegas together to the ASD Market Week. What flavor is that? I wonder what makes this Australian. It says, soft and chewy. This Aussie-style licorice is packed with incredible down-under flavor. Snack away. This one is strawberry. Strawberry? Watermelon. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get it angled good for you. Soft and chewy. Nice. I don't know. Some of you know. What would make this Australian? Is that where licorice came from? Is it Australia? I don't know. It's probably the recipe. The recipe, you figure? Yeah. Could be. Something different, though, huh? Can I offer them? That's not bad. I think I know what those are. Are these our hard candy ones? I think so. We sell these so quickly. We sell a lot of them on our fire sales too. These are the sour balls, kind of the hard candy. People have been using them for colds and stuff, just to have something to, to suck on that way. Hard candies made in small batches, cherry, lemon, orange, lip puckering goodness. I always, when I look at this, I always think lemon, but it's cherry, lemon, and orange. So there are differences. And then we got what else we got there. Uh, licorice drops. These are the hard candies. So different than the other kind of licorice that you just saw. Hard candies made in small batches. Sweetness with a bite. That's a delight. There you go. And then there was one more. Where did the other one come from? Oh, there it is. Cinnamon drops. This is the one I like. Cinnamon drops. Uh, refreshing spice that melts in your mouth. Very nice. Sometimes you can't find... You can find a ton of this stuff around Christmas, but then after that, sometimes it's a little harder to find. These are nice to have. Is that it? That is it. Look at this. Look at all the candy, everybody. Look at all the candy. Beautiful. Anybody hungry? If you are, go to hookedonpickin.com and get yourself some. Now, I only have, what do we have, 12 of these? Mm -hmm. I only have 12 of each of the popcorns, and I, we've got five different flavors right now, if I've got that right. Five different flavors. So try them out. Let me see what you, uh, tell me what you think about them. So I thought about making another order of Bell's Gourmet Popcorn also, but we'll see. If you love this even more, we might switch to Hammond. We'll see. Very good. So hopefully you enjoyed the snacks unboxing. Go straight to hookedonpicking.com to find all that stuff. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.